Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, April 24th. This morning's call to prayer is Psalm 105.4. Search for the Lord and his strength and continually seek his face. Request for presence is the Agnus Dei. O Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon me. O Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon me. O Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, grant me your peace. The greeting this morning is Psalm 69, 6. O God, you know my foolishness, and my faults are not hidden from you. The refrain for the morning lessons is Psalm 65, 3. Our sins are stronger than we are, but you will blot them out. The reading today is Luke 13, 1 through 5. It was just about this time that some people arrived and told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with that of their sacrifices. At this he said to them, Do you suppose that these Galileans were worse sinners than any others that they should happen to them? They were not, I tell you. No, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. <clears throat> or those 18 on whom the Tower of Siloam fell, killing them all. Do you suppose they were any more guilty than all the other people living in Jerusalem? They were not, I tell you. No, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Our sins are stronger than we are, but you will blot them out. The morning psalm is Psalm 90, 8 through 12. Our iniquities you have set before you, and our secret sins in the light of your countenance. When you are angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. The span of our life is seventy years, perhaps in strength even eighty. Yet the sum of them is but labor and sorrow, for they pass away quickly, and we are gone. Who regards the power of your wrath? Who rightly fears your indignation? So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Our sins are stronger than we are, but you will blot them out. The cry of the church, O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer appointed for this week, O God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light. Grant that I, who have been raised with him, may abide in his presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory. Through Jesus Christ, my Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be dominion and praise forever and ever. Amen. The concluding prayer of the church. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. May God bless you today and always.